Assalamualaikum. Good morning, good evening from where you are watching me. Uh, and everyone see Mubarak 2024. Uh, today we're gonna check our Galaxy Watch Pro, which I bought uh, recently. And today we will do the unwrapping and we will have a user review of this watch and how do we feel look like how it's feel look like and so let's start without further ado so let's go and open it up okay we have more things here Okay, so this is Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and this is, I will check this later on. So let's say Bismillah start with unwrapping and let us first read it, blah 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 whatever it is. And, but before we start let's do our flip test, you know I like to do a flip test and flip test we can figure it out. Oh, the system my product will go work with me no didn't work let's do it again yes it's fine it's a galaxy watch pro uh, titanium gray and let's start uh, with unboxing it okay here we are we got our watch and we have here let's see here's a user manual Okay, we got our power chair. We got a charger and cable for it. I believe it's a USB C interface. Okay, and this is a charger of a watch. I believe we got to charge the watch because this watch was released in 2023, perhaps April. So I'm not expecting that this watch may have a charge. So let's go and check it out. Bismillah, let's power up our watch. Okay, please power up. Meanwhile, we can go and check the watch. silicone leather strips it's a very premium design soft and let me power on perhaps it might be out of power okay so it's charging as I expected it may not have a charge so seems like it do not have a charge I had a Galaxy watch 2 or 3 I don't remember it worked with me for almost like two years I liked it much but the problem is that now uh, its battery is deteriorated so I'm gonna have to charge it every once a day or twice or after two days which I'm not that kind of a guy who likes to keep things watch and keep things on them eye on them Let's go with our watch and we will power on our watch and also we'll try to add a configure our watch add it to Samsung Galaxy Health or wearable. Seems like it is out of charge. So I'm gonna pause the video for a while and okay so watch is rebooting. 
meanwhile let us check i also bought one accessory with this watch uh okay so the lesson learned with the phone and these watches expensive gadget i recommend that we must buy uh screen protection screen protection with these devices as a small mistake can damage your screen and then it will render your gadget what should you use less or the repairing cost will be so high that you may not be or you may not wish to repair it so let's open also this one this is a screen protection for the watch which comes in a pack of three here i remember okay so yeah we have our screen protection here I'll start it, install it later on, but for a reference, this is how it will look like. So this is a skin protection. So we're gonna install it here over there. I may do it later on, but the most important thing is the first as a user review. The watch is a premium. It's just completely out of charge as we I expected. Because these gadgets if they kept it for a long time they may not have a retained charge for a long time so you have to charge it time to time and beside that we will use and uh, try to connect it with our phone but since I want just first to power up the device yeah, okay so here the first button you keep it pressed for a couple of seconds and the watch will power it on. So before we go, I think first I need to unpair my old device or old watch something. So I'm gonna go. Okay, so the watch is powered up. Select a language. Okay, English, United Kingdom, Urdu, Arabic. Okay, it has a lot of languages. So let's select. No, English. Continue to English, United Kingdom. Yeah. Select your region, Jordan, Kenya, Kuwait, Lebanon, let me select region Saudi Arabia and restart. I believe once this restart and you connect it with the mobile, gonna connect to the Samsung server and for the warranty purpose. That's I anticipate but I'm not sure that it will go on the same way. Let's go to Samsung where wearable. No. Where what do we have here? Let's go to health, Samsung Health and I believe I have connected. Let me disconnect my old watch. Setting da da da. Okay, let's first finish the Okay Okay, let's start the Galaxy variable app in our phone First, I believe I have to disconnect this one. I cannot. Okay, I will do it later on, perhaps. So, let's add a new device. Add. 
think this is the device you will see it here seven s heavy confirm yes you will see the password here and confirm on both side in your phone and your watch and it's asked now it's time for to provide the notification and all this stuff okay what permission you need allow so now it's time for to download the software for the galaxy watch pro 5 and our connection did not established because since the software is downloading so it's okay that it will disconnect for a while but it will get connected back Okay, here. So Samsung and user license agreement, Galaxy variable privacy detail. I don't want to send diagnostic information and confirm. Some end of user agreements you have to agree. Unfortunately, if you want to do your usage and diagnostic report now I don't want to provide I want to just provide location access current peer okay okay let's pair you see the password uh, here and connect so it's time for the watch to get ready Okay, let's try again. I'm not sure what's happening here. Why it's not getting connected, but let me power off my old watch so in case. Maybe it's just causing a problem. Okay, I got another password. Let's try again. Click OK on both sides. Okay, and user agree, agree. Now getting watch ready. So just let me connect my Google account. Signing in. Okay, setup needs some time. Initially, I believe it was so quick for the older version, but let's see because maybe due to some security update and software update, it needs some time. Regarding the costing, I bought this watch around like two hundred ten dollar or eight hundred some plus real. Uh, of course, I just uh, bought it in offer. I did a lot of research online to find where can I find it cheaper uh, because the watch. Galaxy Watch 6 Pro still did not release in the marketplace, so still we have a Watch 5 latest version. So it's asking me to select apps for watch, and I'm just adding all of them. Salon, web, okay, some restoration has to be required, so let's select them. 
let's get my alarm reminder settings and all everything I'll say next okay so now it's time to wear our watch um, right I wear uh, button on the position right because I wear watch on the left hand so the button position has to be selected on the right okay next next take your running with a new level of advanced battery setting next finish and finishing up setup So as of now, um, I believe that this Active Watch 2 is fine, but it does not record a lot of uh, tracking or walking activities. I used uh, after that uh, Huawei GT2. It worked fine perfectly with me, but since I think it also after one and a half hour it ran into the battery issue. And so I prefer not to repair it rather than go and move on. So that's pretty much the watch you see here. We can go and maxim change the seating and everything uh, as of now and our watch is set up and we can have some watch set up uh, watch faces if you want we can go and customize it there's a lot of customization since it's asking me to update so let's update it so that's what it is and and i will provide you further update after using it of some time so how my watch worked and how it is look like uh, thank you very much for watching and if you want to watch about my other product unveiling or unboxing i recently unboxed a samsung galaxy s23 ultra and galaxy bud pro so it's an android ecosystem where i have a samsung phone samsung watch and samsung bud and with this one our ecosystem is completed thank you very much for watching and have a great day bye